Hello everyone, my name is Kathy. Welcome to another strength training class that is specifically designed to work with weights and bands. Now before we start it, I just want to remind you that you're going to need um, proper clothing, something that moves with your body. You're going to need your sneakers and uh, we are going to need a pair of weights, preferably nothing more than three pounds. And we are going to need a resistance band as well. Now, if you have no access to these props at home, you can always use a pair of water bottles um, instead of weights. And uh, as far as band, you can always use an old pantyhose. Now, for the first portion of the class, I'm going to play the music to warm up our muscles and lubricate our joints. And then for the second second uh, segment of the class, we are going to use our props. So stay tuned. I'm going to play the music and we are going to move to it. <laughs> Here, four, three, two, double, step. 
As I said before, you are going to need a pair of weights or a pair of water bottles. You are going to need a resistance band or an old pantyhose will do the job as well. Now, uh, have a chair right beside you so you can hang on to it and you can keep your equipment on it as well. Now. Uh, before we start the class, we want to make sure that we listen to our body and work out in our own pace. And we also want to make sure that we have right alignments and right posture. So we want to make sure we uh, keep our legs about the hip to shoulder width apart. We want to try to keep the tailbone in and engage the core and abdominals. The body is tall and shoulders are slightly rolled to the back and down. Now, this is how we, we are going to stand up for the rest of the class. Now, let's grab our chair and bring it a bit closer to us here. Now, grab the weights, everyone. Uh, please avoid um, using anything too heavy. And then we are going to... Open the legs about the hip to shoulder width apart. Core and abdominals are engaged, keeping the tailbone and body is tall. Now bend the elbows and bring the arms to the side. Chest is open and shoulder blades are closer to each other. Now uh, you want to make sure that you keep your wrist neutral, so avoid flexing your wrist. And then from here, we're going to very gently drop the arms down and then kick them out like this keeping the shoulders down and back to the first position now as you notice the first position looks like a w like our arms look like a w looks uh, our arms look like a w now we're going to twist the arms down and kick out now make sure you breathe in and out properly Avoid leaning on one side, so you want to make sure you distribute the weights between the two legs evenly. Four, three, two, nice and controlled. Last one. And release. Let's drop the arms. And weights down, shake it up here. Shoulders step back and down. Inhale, arms to the side or all the way up. And exhale. So I only did one, or I'm going to do one set of eight only, but you can do two or three. Now, let's grab the band, everyone. Make sure you put the weights on the side and you sit on the chair for, for a minute here. Now you're going to wrap the band around your thighs just above the knees. 
Now make sure you don't, uh, it's not too tight and make sure it's not too loose either. So two knots in the row and again avoid making it too tight. And if you don't like doing it, so you can use your imagination. Imagine that there is a resistant band around the thighs. And you can do the same thing with the weights too. So if you don't want to weigh, use weights, that's completely fine. Use your imagination and pretend that you're using weight. Or you can simply go with your water bottles. Now stand up. Make sure you hang on to the chair here. Now, roll the shoulders to the back and down. Avoid bending forward to hold on to the band. Okay, if the band is falling because it's too loose or for any other reason, so put the band on the side and make sure you have the right posture. But if you could fix it properly, the way I did, then you want to make sure your upper body is tall. You're going to hang on to the chair. Now, at this point, you want to think of your uh, limitations and restrictions. If you had hip surgery, so you might not be able to open your leg too much. So, and if you, had, if you have hip problem, you might not be able to cross your leg here. So think of all those cases and problems, and then you can modify the exercise. For example, you can, instead of crossing the leg, you can bring your leg back to the center. Now, Cross the leg in the center here, and then you're going to send it out to the side. Point your toe down and keep your toes on the floor. So cross option, you can maybe lift, lift the leg up and up. Here is the last one, cross and up. Supporting knee is a slightly bent. Now this time, we're going to send the leg to the back and cross it in the back. Talk your tailbone and squeeze your glutes here and then out, keeping the toes down, number one option. Number two option, lifting them up, and two, and here's the last one. Now we are going to alternate it. So it's front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, two, side, back, side. Here's the last one, side, back, side, really so shake it up. Go to the other side. And then cross out. So remember, remind yourself of the options that you have and pick the one that is suitable for your body center. Now we're going to cross it in the back, squeeze the glutes out. You can always keep the toes on the floor when you send your leg out. Now we are going to alternate it. It's front, side, back, side. Here's the last one. And I'm going to shake it up. And then sit on the chair, everyone, and open the band here. Now, let's just stand up nice and tall, everyone, and roll the shoulders to the back and down. Now, grab your band and put the band around your body and then bring the, bring the ends of your band out from under your armpits here. Now to intensify the exercise, you can shorten the band by doing this, or to ease it up, you can loosen it up. Now you're going to tuck the tailbone in, and then we are going to extend the arms forward and send one leg out to the front, toes are down, and back. And switch it to the other side, and back. It's six, five, keeping the abdominals and core engaged. Body is tall, here's the last set. Elbows are micro bent, 
and release it. Shake it up here. And then roll the shoulders to the back and down. Take a deep breath. Inhale, arms to the side or up. And exhale down. Now, put this down and grab one of your weights. Again, the weight is optional. Now, this time, we are going to open the legs about the hip to shoulder width apart. Hold on to the uh, weight here. Now, remember how, how we did the squat? Squat is uh, when you actually push the butt to the back and then you bend the knees. The weight is on the heels, not on the toes. And then come all the way up and squeeze the glutes. So it's kind of like you're, you're sitting on your imaginary chair. Now, um, if you have knee problems, you don't want to go too low. Uh, and uh, if you have shoulder problem or any problem with your arms, then you can imagine that you are using weights or you can simply go with those, uh, with the water bottles. Now, let's drop, uh, bend the knees, drop them down. Now, sending the arms forward and squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone in, and then sending the arms forward. This is option number one. Option number two, squat down and then lifting the arms up above the head. Now, avoid bringing your arms too close to your ears when you extend your arms up above the head. Now, once again, if I'm going too low, you don't have to. You can just go as low as your knees allow you. Let's do four more. Remember, your option is to extend your arms to the front. Three, Squeezing the glutes, two, and here is the last one, and release it. Drop these down and shake it up, shoulders to the back and down. Now let's grab the band again, and this time put the band around your waist here. Roll the shoulders to back and down. Now, we are going to actually, sorry, this way. Put the band around your waist this way. So, roll the shoulders to back and down. And this time, as we are sending the arms to the front, we are going to send one leg to the back, keeping the toes down, squeezing the glutes here, and center, switching the leg. Alternate leg out or to the back. Center. So out and switching the leg, sending the arms forward. Let's do four more. Four or two more sets. Back. Squeeze your glutes. Here's the last set. Sending the arms to the front, leg to the back. Squeeze it. Release it. Here's the last one. Squeeze it. And release it. Shake it up here. And shoulders to back and down. Arms up to breathe in. And breathe out. Let's drop the band down and grab one weight. Now hold on to the weight with this hand and hang on to your chair with this one. If you have poor balance. Now if uh, you, have good, you have a good balance, you may actually let, uh, get your hand off the chair you can put your hands on the waist, support the back, or do whatever you want with this arm. You can just hang it down. So make sure you have uh, shoulders in the back and down. Now we are going to work with the chair that, with the leg that is closer to the chair here. So we're going to send this to the front. Make sure the knee stacks over the ankle and then center. Hang on to the chair if you need to. And then we are going to send this leg to the side. I'm just going to step step away from the chair so you can see my leg here. So I'm going to send it to the side. I am um, lunging to the side here. The knee is above the ankle and then center. And then same leg goes to the back, keeping the body tall, front knees over the ankle and center. Now let's go. It's front, center, 
side, center, back, center. Let's do two more sets. Front, center, option, hang on to the chair. Side, center, back, center. Here's the last set. Front, center, side, center, back, and center. Shake it up here. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Let's switch it to the other side. Now hang on to the weight with this hand and then to the chair with this hand. The leg that is closer to the chair is going to do the job. So send that leg to the front. Make sure the knee stacks over the ankle. And then lunge it to the side. The toes are pointing to the side here. The knee stacks over the ankle. And then sending the same leg to the back, keeping the body tall and center. Now remember, if you have knee problem, if you have poor balance, you may want to keep your knee a bit higher. You don't have to bend it as, as much as I do. So two. So again, work out in your own pace. And here's the last set. It's front, center, side, center, back, and center. Shake it up here. Okay, everyone. Let's grab the band again. Uh, I actually had to change my band because my other band broke on me. If you're wondering why the band is changed and why the color is changed, that is the reason. Now grab the band and put the band around your back again and bring the ends of it uh, from under your armpits here. And then roll the shoulders to the back and down. Hang on to the ends here and extend your arms forward. Now we are going to open the arms to the side and then send one leg out, squeeze your glutes here, and center. Inhale here, opening the arms, opening the chest, and center. Let's do three more sets. Inhale, squeeze the glutes, exhale. Inhale, out, exhale. Let's do four more. It's four center, three, center, two, and here's the last one, and release it, drop, them drop the band down, and move on to the last portion of the class, which is a static stretch now. Now let's hang on to the chair, everyone, roll the shoulders, the back and down, Let's um, send this leg to the back here. Now put your toes down, and as you're dropping the heel down, you're going to bend the front knee and make sure the knee stacks over the ankle here. Now you're going to feel the stretch on your calf. Now if your heel is not touching the floor, that's completely fine as long as you feel the stretch on the calf. To deepen the stretch, you may actually hinge your back forward, And gently release it. Now take half a step to the front. Adjust the legs here. Roll the shoulders to the back and down. And plant your back heel down. Flex the front ankle and have the knee bent here. Avoid locking that knee. Now avoid dropping the head down, especially if you have high blood pressure, um, glaucoma or vertigo. Let's drop the toes down, shake it up here, switch it to the other side, sending this leg out, toe down, dropping the heel down, bending the front knee, head, neck and back are all aligned.
noticing the stretch on the calf, noticing the breath. And gently take half a step to the front, adjust the legs, plant the back heel down, and then push the butt to the back and lengthen the body forward. Ankle is flexed, knee is bent or micro bent. Avoid dropping the head down and release it. Drop the toes down, shake it up here, roll the shoulders to back and down. Now let's um, stand up here, have the palms facing up. Sending the arms out here, twisting the arms and lengthening the arms to the back to stretch out the biceps and noticing the stretch on your chest and your shoulders as well. Lengthening the body up and keeping the tailbone in. And release it, shake it up. Shoulders to the back. Now sending one arm out, bend the elbow. Now if you have shoulder problem, you want to keep it here. You want more, you're going to push the elbow up. Now if you want to deepen the stretch and you want more, you may actually make a frame for your head here. Now if you are doing this pose, you want to make sure you keep your neck and head neutral. Avoid bringing the chin to the chest. Keeping the body tall. Inhale here. Exhale, drop shoulders to the back, switch it to the other side, bend and go all the way up here again. Or come to this pose. Remind yourself of, you, of the options that you have and pick the one that is suitable for your body. Inhale again and exhale, shake it up. Now let's uh, put one knee on the chair, drop this one down. Tuck the tailbone and lengthen the body up to stretch out the hip flexors and quadriceps. Make sure you're tucking the tailbone and lengthening the body up. Release it. And then we're going to move on to the other leg. So put your knee on the chair and then tuck the tailbone in. And release it. Shake it up. Roll the shoulders sit back and down. Inhale, arms up. And exhale down. Now, Open your arms to the side and give yourself a nice tight hug here. Inhale here and exhale down. Shake it up again. Now, okay, I hope you find this video beneficial to you. Uh, please have lots of water after this class. Make sure you take care of yourself, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.